بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اینڈ ٹو ڈے ود دی فرسٹ پراپرٹی آف سسٹم دیٹ وی سیڈ ان دا لاسٹ ویڈیو اینڈ دیٹ از ٹو بی میمر سو لیٹ می ٹیل یو دیٹ آئی آلریڈی ہیو ریکارڈیڈ دس ویڈیو ونس بٹ دین دی کوالٹی واز ناٹ فائن اٹ واز اے لٹل بلاری بلاری دی فوکس واز ناٹ فائن سو آفٹر ریکارڈنگ دی لاسٹ that is linearity now i'm recording this one for the second time so no problem right memory so this is the first property of the system so as the name suggests memory depending on memory we would have a system to be memory less or it would be a system with memory fine the memoryless system is also called a static system the with memory system is also called a dynamic system right and i believe i've said it fine yes memoryless is static with memory is dynamic <coughs> sorry now uh In the previous video, I told you that the most important concept moving into the properties of systems and a system itself was the concept of present value, past value, and the future value. So we are going to use it here. Now, the memory-less system is that system in which the present output only depends on the present input. because memory is something related to storage so it means that it cannot store the previous value it cannot predict the next value so which means that the present output would only depend on the present input fine we have no storage you give it the input it gives you the output directly whereas in the dynamic system the present output can depend on present input plus it could also depend on the past input plus it could also depend on the future input fine now the present input is fine you're giving it the present input the past input is fine it has stored it the future input what about the future input it cannot predict something so that is a problem you know future input not important we cannot do it practically not possible but theoretically anything is possible and therefore we have a separate class of system for this is anti causal system we see in the next video but of no significance why because no practical advantage so this is the basic definitions now coming into this video you need to know what i mean by the present values what i mean by the past values what i mean by the future values only then you you have the upper hand fine so let's get into examples so the first example let's say we have is uh number 1 number 1 is let's say the identity system identity system y of t is equal to x of t now let me tell you an important point whenever checking the system properties whenever you want to uh, check and an answer on the value on what type of a system is so you check for t equal to 0 for some positive value of t and some negative value of t only then you would be able to give the right answer as over here we have y of t equal to x of t so let's say for t equal to 0 we have so y of 0 is x of 0 depending on this you could say this is a static system right positive let's say t equal to 1 so y of 1 would be x of 1 right and similarly t of minus 2 so y of minus 2 would be x of minus 2 this was a simpler system so have a look the present value of the output is only depending on the present input so this is a memoryless system this is a static system fine 
The second is the delay system. Y of t equaling x of t minus 1. So, have a look. For t equal to 0, y of 0 would be x of negative 1. So, have a look. You can say directly it is depending on the past input. So, this is a dynamic system. But let's say we have y of 1, so this would be x of 0. y of negative 1 would be x of negative 2. So all the present outputs are depending on the past inputs. So which means that this is a system with memory, which means that this is a dynamic system. Fine. Number 3. x of 2t. Number 3 y of t is x of 2t. So what do you have in this case? Have a look again. y of 0 would be x of 0. Now if you, if you characterize it until straight away that the present input is on the present output. So you have it wrong in this particular case. Why? Because have a look now for positive value. Let's say y of 2. So this is x of 4. So the present output is depending on the future value. Similarly, y of negative 1 would be x of negative 2. So a few present value is depending on the past value. So this means that this is a system that has memory. This is a dynamic system. Whereas if you would have characterized it straight away on the basis of 0, it would be what? It would be what? It would have been wrong. Point. So have a look. We uh, we have time shifting involved over here, right? We have uh, time scaling involved over here. So we have we can now have a conclusion over here is that systems involving time transformation and this time transformation could be both scaling and shifting time transformations are dynamic systems whenever you have time transformation involved you would have the system to be a dynamic system similarly if y of t is x to the x of t cube so again you could say Number four, y of t is x of t cube. So y of zero, y of zero would be x of zero. Say y of uh, two is so uh, have a look two to the power three. So two to the four, four twos are eight. And similarly y of minus 2 so x of minus 8 so have a look we have the present value we have the future we have the past this is a system dynamic with memory system so you could also say that this is a case of time scaling you know but this is different so i would write it different the system involving time transformations are dynamic systems we have another one system involving any operator on time if you have any operator on time and operator i mean over here power on time so that system would be a dynamic system as well fine number five y of t is exponential of negative t plus 1 into x of t. Now a confusing point. <clears throat> Sorry. You have exponential involved. So let me tell you that what is our present in what is our input? So our input is x of t, right? Our output is y of t. So what is this exponential? This is our coefficient. And let me tell you that the system properties are independent of the coefficient involved whether it is a function of time as in this case 
or if it is a constant the system properties would be independent of the coefficient <coughs> so i would write it over here that system properties are independent of the coefficient even if okay even if it is a function of so i would write it the independent variable because it is not necessary that it is time okay so the system properties would be independent of the coefficient involved even if the system prop uh, even if it is a function of time so in this case my function is then y of t is equal to x of t which is simply the uh, what which is simply the what or the identity of the system which is a static system this is a without memory system fine in this case what would this exponential of negative t plus 1 give you it will give you some constant right because when you give it some value of t similarly if you have uh, a function like this uh, let's say y of t is 2 times x of t so again have a look the system properties would not depend on this 2 the system properties only depend on x of t so again we have the same function which is x of t which is the identity system so again this is also a static system fine okay real of x of t is number 6 I have 10 okay so number 6 is the real of x of t number 6 if you have real of x of t you give it uh, what you give it a signal you give the system a signal it tells you the real part of it so let's say i have x equaling some complex number a is equal to a plus ib right i is the imaginary part the conjugate would be what it would be a minus ib let's say i add these two one and two so i would have what x plus x conjugate would be what it would be 2a which implies a which is the real part of x so this is equal to half of x of t plus x conjugate of t so i have a look x of t is what x of t is the identity system which is a static system the x conjugate of t is the same system conjugate let it go we don't have to do anything with it it's again x of t is the same so the combination of two static systems would be what? That the real system is also a static system. Fine. Example number 7. Even of x of t. Example number 7 is that y of t gives you the even component of x of t. Now I've did it over here for the real. So you do it for the odd. Odd is your homework. Let me know in the comment section. I am doing for the even. You tell me about the. Uh, sorry, I did for the real. You tell me about the imaginary. I am doing for the even. You tell me for the odd in the comment section. Okay, I need your answers. So even of x of t. Now, if you remember, uh, I don't uh, want to prove it again. So the even of x of t, the formula, which we have derived already. So this was equal to x of t plus the time reverse version of x of t and divided by 2 this gives you the even part of it so x of t the identity system this is a static system we know x of minus t we have time transformation involved so system involving time transformations are dynamic systems this you have done on the basis of properties so which means the static plus dynamic would give you the system to be a dynamic system or you can do it again uh, as you know uh, you do it normally y of 0 is equal to half of 
x of 0 plus x of 0. Fine. y of 1 is let's say half of x of 1 plus x of negative 1. So have a look. This is the case. Fine. Number 8. y of t is x of sine of t. Number 8 is what? y of t is x of sine of t. So now for this, we need the values of t. So let's say at t equal to 0, we have what? y of 0 would be x of sine of 0. And sine of 0 is also 0, so we have x of 0. So have a look. The present value at the present time. t equal to pi y of pi would be what? x of sine of pi which is again x of 0 t equal to pi by 2 y of pi by 2 is x of sine of pi by 2 which is x of 1 so I have a look t equal to pi x of 0 the previous value t equal to 0 x of 0 present value pi by 2 x of 1 this could be uh, this is also the past I believe so, but it is involving memory, you can see it generally. So, this is again the case of time transformations. Generally, you could have seen it from the, uh, what? From the property. So, this is again a system that is with memory. Isn't it so? It is. So, two, uh, two examples are left. The most important one. So, let me have some space. Okay, the next is, let's say, number 9 is on integration. y of t is negative infinity to t x of tau d tau. So, what is this system doing? This is doing what? Integrating the values. So let's say this is your negative infinity, this is somewhere your t, this is your tau axis, this is your x of tau axis, this is your graph. So which means if you have to integrate till this t, so you need to know the previous values, right? Or if you're going in the right direction, if you're starting from negative infinity, you need to know the next values which means you need to know a set of values. So, I write over here is that integration requires a number of values. Or I could say that integration depends on the previous values. Integration depends on the previous values. If you are going in the left direction, have a look. Till t I have, so, so, so I need the previous values to sum them up. And similarly, if I'm going in the right direction, then I need to know all the next values. So mathematically, what do you see in mathematics? I will, mean, from the mathematical point of view, we say that we require the previous value. So over here, I would mention the previous value. So whenever integration is involved, you say that this is a system that is a with memory system. You say that this is a dynamic system. Dynamic system. Finally, integration. Sorry, uh, this was integration. So finally, the uh, differentiation. So number 10, y of t is the derivative of x of t. Now, we know what the derivative is. The derivative is the slope of a line. And for a line, for a line, what do we need? For a line, we need a minimum of two points. Minimum two points. So which means that it is not possible with a single point. The static system would mean that present output on the present input. So which means that it is a single point. 
so that would be static so whenever two points are involved this means that you could have the points to be either your present plus future or you would have them to be present plus past present plus future or present plus past so what do you mean now which means that this system involving the derivative is also a system that is with memory system if we do it like this let's say we have a, we have one point that is somewhere here the next is somewhere here the next is somewhere here so this is a straight line right so this is let's say x is uh, 0 let's say y is 2 over here let's say both of them are 1 over here let's say uh, x is 2 y is 0 so this is your straight line now now if you consider this to be your present point this is your considered to be present point so if you, to like, you need to draw this straight line you would uh, need any two more, any one more point so if you consider this one to be your next point to be your second point so this means that this would now be your future point similarly similarly if you consider it in the left direction you consider this point and you join the line so then this would be your past point so which means you need one more point that could either be future that could either be past integration is not possible derivative is not possible with a, with a single point so this means that this is also a system with memory that is your dynamic system you could write the proof that uh, differentiation is not possible with a single point fine and if I write it over here in the conclusions also that whenever you have integration and differentiation the system is going to be a dynamic system and what do I mean by dynamic with memory system because they are not possible with a single point so these are the two most important so that's all about it that's all about the first property that's all about memory see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah most, most probably with the property of causality so till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers goodbye